Welcome to another episode of Spaghetti at My House. Today we're interviewing Christopher Cormans. Improvise. I had to improvise. All, all I had was some some spicy ramen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. but, I had, but, but I had to sell I had to sell it with with this so I couldn't I couldn't do it without the meatballs Mormon. one two test these to test these test these all right perfect <laughs> that's where this dude gets it uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, shit. <laughs> what's up dude dude so dude okay so tell tell Christian how long I've known you for how long have I known you he's known me oh man okay so I moved to this little town called Lytle when I was, um, this was back in 2002, man. That's oh, how wow. long ago it was. Wow, dude, 18 years, 19 now, shit, right? I know, I know man. I don't know math. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so 2002, yeah, we're going to end up on 19, man. Jeez. That's pretty cool. Jeez, all right. Um, yeah, freshman year, man, freshman year of high school. Wow, that's a long time. Y'all, y'all best buds. Y'all probably like, y'all probably like laid together a couple times, huh? Like, what's up, y'all? Our, 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 our cycles sync up. Our cycles sync up. <laughs> Disney, uh, Disney Plus and Thrust? Disney Plus and Thrust? <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm just messing so, around. Hey, Chris, do you remember, do you remember the first thing that I ever asked you? It's what the whole world is thinking about right now. What, what was it? Oh, Wait, okay, so if I if he's talking about what I think he's talking about, we used to have homeroom together. And I was I was a shy lad. I was a shy, you know, little albino. You know, I, I didn't know anybody. I was I was new to town. Right. So like, you know, we I don't know how many weeks we were in, you know, to the school year, and then this dude just turns and asks, he's like, he's like, hey man, or or uh what do you say? Does the carpet match the drapes or something? Oh, like oh what? It's out of nowhere. <laughs> Dude, and I'm, I've been asked that so many times, mostly by girls. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Man, he, he's wild. He's wild. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, man. But that, that, we, we got along, man. That's like, I'm used to all the out there questions, man. I've heard it all. I've heard okay. it all. Okay. Great. Well, I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty curious already. Like, so I know uh, albino is like a genetic mutation, right? Am I? I, I don't know. If it, I mean, it could. I I guess you know. What? I'm not even quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what right. the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, if 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 blue eyes can be considered mutations, something like that. It's it's having to do with like um. I'm I have all recessive. All recessive genes, I okay. guess. Like, like, I'll, like, I have no, like, no dominant, I guess. So I'm all, I have no pigment yeah, in yeah. my my hair, my skin, and get my eyes too. Apparently, have no pigment. So oh, wow. that I think that's where the red, they're they're like translucent. So like, you see when you see red in in a person who, in the eyes of somebody who has albinism, that's what you're looking at. You're looking like through their eyes, and it's crazy. And I'm like pretty much blind. <laughs> so, so you can't see any i mean of course you, you got to get around and stuff right so yeah i i, I get by okay yeah I, I i don't drive okay you do not want me behind the wheel of a motor vehicle <laughs> um no i mean not I, even I, bumper cards you know just <laughs> although although oh yeah no i'll go hard on bumper cars man i'll bump into everybody <laughs> i don't know if you if you remember the invention that i wanted to have for you when we were in high school do you remember what it was <laughs> <laughs> to, to this day he insists Dude, that, um tell him tell him what it was <laughs> what was it <laughs> he wants to make some some sort of like uh some sort of magnifying glass windshield <laughs> <laughs> but dude i was too uh, so i really want to do this for him like i feel like it would be a great idea to have like a huge windshield as a magnifying glass so he can drive but i was too afraid to even start doing it because the sun would burn him like an ant <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy because i just just don't you know you don't want to be driving east or <laughs> well, well that's why you gotta you gotta make it like a two-way mirror you know it's reflective on the inside but not on the outside. That, oh, wait, we're gonna do that. See? <laughs> I know things. <laughs> so, um, 
are your I mean, of course, your parents aren't albino, right? Yeah, so typically, and I don't know how rare it is, but I've seen maybe only a handful of times other people with albinism. And a lot of times you see like a few of them in a family, you'll see that. But in mine, I'm the only one, dude, and I have a big family. I mean, I'm, oh. I'm Hispanic, you know, I live here down in South Texas. My mom came from, my mom came from uh, eight or seven brothers and sisters, and my dad had five, seven brothers or five brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. And like just n nobody, family reunions, weddings, whatever. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, I'm the only one, man. It's, and um, I think my parents, if they kept having kids, it would have been one out of four, apparently. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So like, they have like that, that gene in them already or. Yeah. Anything, it's, it's like they can each, so each person can carry, yeah, you can carry it. And it won't show, but if you happen to to be with somebody who else carries that, then your kids have a higher chance of coming out like me. Okay. So you you have a, a child, right? Yeah, and she's she she does not look like me. I look like the milkman. Or she looks she does. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she's so, definitely she she is mine though. I mean, yeah, like that's no, yeah. sister. But but, but like I, they told me that too. Like, like I have, I, I have. So get this. I have the same chance as anybody else does at having a kid like me. Right. Unless, okay. unless I like on, unless I knowingly, like, I would have to get like with a girl who's albino to make sure that our genes would keep carrying on and we can keep on like spreading the albinism or whatever. So in that sense, never... I, I just feel like it wouldn't be like you know a negative and a negative. No, you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't... But like, it is kind of like that. It, 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 in a way, it, yeah, it is. I, I, that's the way I understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm no expert on it. But yeah, like, you could carry it. And right, you wouldn't yeah. know. And, and, then, and then you could, like, marry a girl who could also possibly carry it, too, and she doesn't know. And then y'all would have a pretty good chance of having a, a child with albinism. Yeah, so, it's, it, it's something like that. Is So albinism's, like, the correct term, huh? I, I've never, you know, I feel like now... <laughs> that saying albino is um, almost like a racial slur or something, like. <laughs> yeah, like, see, so I like, so I, I remember growing up, I would hear that word and it, yeah, like, like, is that me? Is that what I am, you know? And it's like, yeah, well, you know, that's that's the term. Right, right. You know, but, and so from a young age, I, I accepted that that's what it is. Believe me, that's, that's like the best thing I could be called. You know what I mean? Like this. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. No, yeah. Yeah, whenever, so. Whenever you were in, in school, like middle school or high school, how did you deal with like kids bullying you and just in general? Because I'm sure you dealt with it a little bit, right? I did in junior high because I went to a really I went to a really ghetto junior high school. Yeah. I went how was, to like how was that? Like how, how did I you went to this I, so, that? Well see, so so I, I was I grew up on the south side of San Antonio and there's um and I you know, so as when you're eleven and you wanna fit in, like I, I didn't carry myself like I was any different but of course you know when you're different if anybody's different you're gonna get picked on you know there, there was a, a kid there who was I, I don't know what you call he had dwarfism or something and like he would get picked on too you know what I mean like it's just so that was always my understanding I was like yeah you're gonna get picked on you're gonna and you have to sort of like not roll with it but eventually like like I learned you know stay out of certain people's way and then eventually I toughened up right um, and then eventually, by the time I made it to high school, I think I learned how to make fun of myself. I learned how to like, I learned how to like, you know, fend for myself, you know, basically. And I, I kind of like made it to work, work to my advantage. And I made friends, I made more friends that way. I made people laugh, you know, because it's like, yeah, like a lot of the jokes that you'll hear, they're really weak ass jokes. I've been hearing the same ass jokes since like third grade. Because I was like. <laughs> It's like, dude, if you're gonna insult me, like at least at least make me laugh. At least like <laughs> be what, at least what be is, So what what is like the most common insult you hear or joke, you know? It's not so much a joke, but I'll I'll tell you this. Uh, a lot of times I'll hear this uh, to this day I'll hear it and it's always like, Hey, have have you ever seen me, myself, and Irene? And I'm like Yes, yes, I have. Yes, oh. I've seen. Oh my gosh! Oh. Have you ever seen? Yeah, have you ever seen that movie? Or have you ever seen what's that movie with that dude? It's like Powder. Yeah, yeah. that movie. Yeah, I was like, dude. It's, dude it's, I don't know if you remember, yeah. but uh, one time in high school, I did put I put a spoon 
I put a spoon on top of the TV and I wanted him to bend it with his mind because I was so convinced. <laughs> <that's what? laughs> oh my God. See, so, see, yes. see, these are the jokes I've been hearing. These are the classics. <laughs> Oh, man. What do you feel like the hardest thing about having albinism is? Of course, besides all the the teasing or whatever, the bullying. Oh, dude. Um, yeah, I know you no, get all I, that. I, I would. Um, but what do you think about, probably, I mean, like physically, I guess, maybe, um, yeah, in, you know, in your own words, what do you think? It's it's definitely the the whole vision thing. If I could see like 2020 or even like 2040 or something. I mean, yeah, even just, even just any better than what they are, what my eyes can see now, I would be totally cool. Like I've totally um, leaned into to the, to the whole looking how you know, I've, I'm, I've become very comfortable with how I look, you know, and I okay, don't really, yeah. yeah, that. And then my, my eyes get all wonky. I can't, I can't keep eye contact with people. That's another thing too, you know, but other than that, like, yeah, that's been the thing because it, it does affect how you, you know, you can't read, you can't read body language and facial expressions as well as everybody else. So, yeah. So, so you come, I, I come off real awkward with people and like only the people who know me will understand be like, oh yeah, he's not, he's not trying to be a dick or he's not trying to, you know, be awkward. Like he, he can't, he can't really tell. Like, I'm not always so sure of myself when you can't see too good. You're not always 100% sure about yourself. I don't want to say hi to the wrong person or, you know, I, I've, yeah, like I've had yeah, yeah, a lot of that. awkward, ex yeah, awkward experiences, you know, so with that, that's pretty much it. I was totally comfortable with, you know, the, the whitey and the cotton or whatever, all that shit they yeah. call me. Yeah. Like that's, you have to, you have to be, get there, you know? Okay. So you said that you've, uh, that you, you have a child, obviously, right? I have a five-year-old. Yeah, you have a five-year-old. So you've been with a woman before. So <laughs> explain, so explain, you said like you're like, it's hard, it's hard seeing people or it's hard, like, you know, you think you're awkward in front of people or whatever, but tell me like, uh, like, what was it like talking to her? For the first time was it awkward or how, how did how did that oh my, my baby's mom yeah exactly that that was probably the least awkward one because i already knew her from oh, high okay. school actually she we, she went to the same high school but but i was really awkward in high school with her i i do remember because she was always cool she was uh she would make friends like pretty much like with she was a real social butterfly right even with like the dorky kids and stuff so i remember one time she had me like sit with her i was a senior she was a freshman she had me sit with her friends and i didn't i don't even know who, who her friends were but like yeah it was just this table with a bunch of ninth grade girls and like it was so awkward and weird like i didn't i didn't even really know how to talk to girls yet like i was i was a total like spaz <laughs> I was, you know I, I still i still I, i'm still trying to figure it out you know but um but yeah, I just remember just kind of sitting there being real quiet and all you know you know how it is you know but uh right. eventually Eventually, I got a little bit better. <laughs> you got a little bit more confident? Yeah, yeah. The thing about confidence, like, you can have the other confidence, but then you also be, have to be, like, in the mood to, like, lift yourself up in situations like that. Because once you're, like, out there, and then it's, like, it's time to, like, you know, prove that you have that confidence, and then you have to overcome that, too, you know? There's a lot of that that I've had to overcome. But, like, man, I'm, shit, I'm more comfortable now than, like, ever you know and right yeah that's awesome man <laughs> is there is there anything that you do that is there anything that you do to to cope with like a lack of confidence that you may have i, I don't feel like i have any i i'd like to think that like everybody's pretty much like the same in regards to like yeah we all have something that we have to like, you know, not think about or overcome or whatever. It's always been that. And like with me, I don't, I don't think it really shows. I think the only thing that really shows that people who have ever called me out on was, was um, overthinking shit. Like my friend, you know, it, it, maybe you did at one point in time too. It was yeah. usually that. And like, yeah, like it's, it's always that you're always your own, your own, like you have to get out of your own way, you know, basically. And whenever whenever I did like hit it off with a girl, it was, it was usually just me 
being myself, you know, and not not too myself, you know. You always want to let them speak too, and I, that's one thing I learned too. You don't want to go on and on and on. But uh, I I totally like I've always had that. Uh, I don't want to call it the nice guy thing because that sounds super lame. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, I've I've always just tried to be like real, I guess you can say, like straight up. Like I, I don't. Yeah, I can't. I can't be anything. I can't be fake. Okay. So obviously, you have the the ridicule and the bullying side of albinism. Now, what about? I know there's people that think that you know albinism is like like being a superhero or su I mean, because in a sense you are kind of superhuman, right? You know, because it. I mean, I don't know the odds of having albinism. I'm subhuman. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I know it's like. It's kind of rare, isn't it? And so, isn't it's there is there rare. levels of people I, I that have the exact numbers that like, you know, you're a superhuman or you know things like that? People always, I always get the same questions. You know, people always like, I, I'm never surprised by you know how bold some people are at asking me certain questions. You know, what I mean, just straight out in public, total strangers. Um, but as far as like extra abilities, like I don't know if any. I, it, it was usually as a joke that somebody would like ask me that because well, because of, of the powder movie or because yeah. of uh, right. yeah it, it was usually like or or I think um, I've been asked can you see better at night and I'm like I think I, I think <laughs> I think so okay. I think I see pretty okay at night <laughs> can you really see better at night <laughs> no yeah I probably see worse I don't know for <laughs> well I don't know because wait hang on it would make sense right because of what you said because like you said the light basically passes in and out. So at night you have like I, I I am very light sensitive. I am very light sensitive. Yeah, I am very like I have to wear sunglasses in, in the daylight and uh, right. So, yeah. so yeah, yeah. So at night like, it would make remember, sense. I remember one time I, uh, me and me and Chris we went to uh, Fiesta Texas one time and uh, he had on like these super powerful sunglasses and uh, oh my god, <laughs> dude, I had I had no idea about the fast pass lane. And Chris was like, he goes, mm. oh, yeah, dude, look, check this out. I'm going to get no, a this fast was, pass. This is better than the fast pass, bro. Uh, dude, he goes, he goes, I'm going to get the fast pass because I'm disabled and we can go through the front of the line on every roller coaster. And I was like, dude, there's no way that can happen. And he uh -huh. goes, check this shit out. <laughs> he, got, he, like, downloads this thing or whatever he did. And we got, like, whatever pass. <laughs> and, it, and it was like him and two friends could go to the front of the line on every single roller coaster, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it was the, hand, the handicap pass, bro. They the handicap pass, that's what it was, yeah. <laughs> so you would, you, they would make us go through the exit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, we didn't even have to wait in line at all. We just went right through the exit. <laughs> and you would always piss off the people who were supposed to go next. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Cause I would have burned up. I think that was that was one of my excuses, but and it, it, it's a good one because I've been I've been burned at Six Flags, dude. I'll get sunburned like a muck. Ooh, yeah, you know, obviously. Yeah, I obviously. mean, yeah, it comes with the territory, right? Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is there? I mean, is there like a special sunblock, or you just you got to use the same thing everybody else uses? Uh, I'll, I'll use like SPF eighty or whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have Damn, those. Yeah. Up to 80? It goes up to 100. <laughs> What'd you be buying? Oh SPF 10? <laughs> <laughs> it goes up to it goes up, man. Damn. It works. It'll be sticky. Dude, so what way. about what about so I feel like I feel like uh, a tattoo would look really badass on your on your skin. A do you have tattoo. any tattoos? I have one tattoo. You do have a tattoo. I, I do plan to get a colored one. Yeah, I got I got this oh, one in nice. Colorado. All right, yeah. yeah. I had I, I even asked because I wasn't sure. I was like, dude, do you know anything about like people who like happen to have really fair skin if it, it affects them? He's like, I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so. I've I've tattooed some pretty white people. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> but never this white. <laughs> <laughs> but I I I wasn't always, I was used to be on the fence about getting a tattoo. And the one thing that made me, my light bulb moment made me realize that I needed one was like, dude, you're really white. How are you not going to get a, a tattoo with like a bunch of color and detail? Like, how are you not going to get a tattoo? Right. 
that was yeah and i was like i gotta get i gotta get a tattoo so um, on that note i'm just have yeah you I'm ever just, have you ever dyed your hair you know what i wish i had man i wish i, I wish i had the uh so when i was let's say back in high school college years or whatever you ever I, you I, had was, I was still very conservative about yeah and i i, I didn't even let that thing you know blossom like the way i should have i should there was a lot more there was a lot more things i should have leaned into it more when i was younger i i, I made the mistake of trying to look normal and trying to you know not not so much fit in but but to like blend in i guess you could say yeah and when you when you look like me you can do that but then you're just like you know there's nothing really like other than i guess my style my style is pretty basic too but like yeah if i could go back i, I would definitely mess around with not trying to make it black or brown or anything, n n nothing to make myself look normal per se you know, like but, green or but purple yeah yeah, yeah. I, I wish I, I wish i would have you know yeah and, I, yeah. and I, maybe i i mean i guess it's not too late you know what i mean my little girl probably when she gets older you know she's her and her little friends are probably going to be wanting me to die it all the time you know yeah. I, I think they'll, they, I'll, I'll be, yeah, I'll, I won't feel so old doing it, you know, so out of touch doing it. Because, hey, at least well, I, I can say that. Hey, my kid talked me into it or whatever. <laughs> <True> <laughs> yeah, because I just, because I just feel like, yeah, I was like, all, all I was doing, I was like, I'm, I'm just working it. I was working at HEB at the time. And I was like, I'm just working at HEB, man. Like, why, why am I going to dye my hair for? It's like, yeah, yeah. Like, I was, yeah, like, I, I try not to be such a sad sap about everything, you know. And you know, it would have been cool too. Yeah, I totally could have. I've colored my hair. I've sprayed it. You know, I've, oh, I've done that. Right. Yeah, how old? Uh, your daughter is. If you don't mind me asking, how old's your daughter? She's five. So does she ever have like friends come over to the house? Right. I assume. She she has a, uh, a cousin. You know, before before the pandemic and COVID and whatnot. Yeah, she her cousin would come over, and um, and my my family, even her, like, I've I've. They've never questioned it. I got nephews and nieces that they're like 11, 12, you know, and they, yeah, they've, they've just, maybe they asked their parents or whatever, but right. I've never been, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I guess to them, since if they don't know you, you just, I mean, you just look like a white guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty they, I mean, I, I feel like the biggest thing that kids would like um, talk about or stare at is probably your eyes, I assume, right? Or the hair, yeah. The, the eyes, hair, yeah. okay. People, when yeah. People, when people do notice my eyes, they it, you can tell they, they don't always notice my eyes, but yeah, that's that's one thing that once they do notice it, they're pretty they're pretty like caught by it. They're like, oh. The the uh, the alien in your in your background there. <laughs> yeah. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? What's it like? <laughs> I don't know. I can't stop staring at the alien. <laughs> it's an alien. <laughs> Pull the alien out. Let's check out the alien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. It's uh oh. it's from Roswell, so it's gotta oh, be legit. Uh-huh. Oh, so it's it's real, yes. <laughs> real ass alien. <laughs> And it's like, oh, you got an alien? Wait, well, mine's from Roswell. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> it, um, man. Is there, is there like, an, man, I don't want to say, have you, have you met other people that have albinism? <laughs> there we go. No, not really, honestly. I, I don't, I don't do a lot of, um albino community events I mean, they do have them. I'm not being sarcastic, I mean, like, they do. yeah i guess yeah yeah I'm not yeah. yeah like i'm not being a dude. but but well there, so there's a there's a, a group on facebook and when i was younger see that this is how i know it's rare because when i was younger they would have little events uh the, the agency that would kind of oversee like anybody anybody in the city who had visual impairments so it wasn't just albinos it was anybody who had problems seeing uh -huh. So I would, so this agency would have little, little events. They would have us, I did, I did uh, two years each, each year was a play. We did a play when I was 12, 11, 12. Okay. And so you had all these other blind kids of all ages, you know, from like, from like third grade to high school, whatever. But there was never any other albinos. Maybe I didn't go the right year or whatever, but there was never any other albinos. Yeah. And it was like a real, it was like a real ass auditorium with a real ass stage. With a real oh, wow. orchestra pit hanging right below the stage. So, like, 
you had all the I just looking back at it, I think it's really funny. You had like 30 blind kids dancing to <laughs> Ding Dong the Witch is Dead, uh, you know, <laughs> with, with, uh, in front of this big ass orchestra pit, this this sketchy, you know, pit below. It's like <laughs> I think right. they had somebody on the side, like just making sure nobody veered off <laughs> too far. <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh, they were they were testing out their natural selection abilities. They're just like, well, you know, <laughs> if, if something if happens, <laughs> we'll it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever been to like a live like concert, like a huge event or something like that? And what what was that like? Oh, dude, I. I, I loved it. I haven't been to too many, but I've been to a few, like, rock shows or whatever. Yeah, I, I've been to a handful. And Like, if I remember correctly, you have, like, a little, like, a little scope kind of thing or something oh, like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, they would give, they would issue these little, you know, uh, what they call monoculars. It's okay. just a single, like, a, like, mono, mo monocular. Yeah. Like a binocular. So, it's like that. And it was... Man, those things were legit, man. I need a, I need a, I've been trying to get another one because I think they're really expensive and you can only get them through the doctor. But um, I've been using those things since I was four years old, man. And uh, if I would go to a, a show, a concert, whatever, and if, if I happen to not, because I have a really bad history of losing shit and breaking shit. And okay. So like, uh, if I had one, yeah, if I had one, I would take it. My busted up old little telescope that I took everywhere with me. And yeah, yeah. I, I, um, who I, I saw like uh go fund me what? link in the description <laughs> yes <laughs> any doctors out there willing to yeah. get a free monocular to christopher <laughs> corman's email us at uh spaghetti at my house 69 where my optometrist <laughs> at where my optometrist <laughs> <laughs> anyway go ahead <laughs> <laughs> okay christian well i didn't tell it you gotta tell it most of it. Christian. Yeah. Okay. Christopher Cormans and myself, <clears throat> a long time ago, we went to see uh, Steve-O, the guy from Jackass. Yeah. Okay, so we went to go see that dude, and he was doing live, like, uh, stand-up comedy. Okay, neat. Yeah, yeah, And uh, Chris, I mean, like he said earlier, he has the little scope, and he has, like, you know, little things to help him see or whatever. Yeah. So... Me and Chris were sitting side by side at this at this like long table thing, and uh, <laughs> you know we're watching Steve-O do his comedy routine and blah 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 whatever, and uh, and then Chris will take it from here. <laughs> yeah, so at, at the end of his show, he like he was gonna do like a stunt because like that he ha he sort of has to now you know so he's gonna do something. He's, he knows all this cool circus tricks and whatnot. So, like, yeah. he, he did something. And I, I didn't know what he was doing. And I'm not going to act like I cared enough to, like, really, you know, see it. But I, I went ahead and pulled out my phone and, like, real try to casually try to, like, hide it behind. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I did it. And I, I, I got away with it. He did two of them. So I got away with the first one. And I did not get away with the second one. I pulled my phone see, out a second time. At the beginning of the show, oh, people... Yeah, yeah. At the beginning of the show, Steve-O literally said, he said, nobody can have their phone out. Nobody can record this. Nobody can record that. There's no devices whatsoever. Oh, that was, That's what he said at the very beginning of the show. So then Chris, and then go ahead. My dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, and then, so he's, he's, the, um, he's like gearing up to do his second one. And I, I guess he looks because it, it, it was, you know, he doesn't want, shit just floating out on the internet you know so yeah i so like i heard him start to complain he's like he's like hey who's that over there trying to record my shit this and that. i'm like and i I'm, I'm like i hope i hope he's not talking about me and i start looking like yeah who's who's the jerk you know like you know, <laughs> I'm, to, I'm like hiding my phone trying to play it out like i'm like i put my phone away already but like dude he's looking right at me dude and, and so was everybody else in the whole joint oh so like and it was so awkward. It was so like, just, you know, I had, what are you going to do? You know, I, I thought he was going to kick me out. Yeah. And he didn't, which was cool. But uh, he did have the bouncer come. He took my phone. Oh. <laughs> they deleted the videos. <laughs> oh, man. But, but the whole reason that 
Chris had even did that in the first place was because obviously, you know, the vision impairment. Yeah. But he was trying to see exactly what Steve-O was doing. Because he was doing That's like so true, because I couldn't see. Yeah, because right? just seeing it, I, I, I could tell he was doing stuff, but I didn't know what exactly he was doing. Right. I really, yeah, like, he did some trick with the cup or something. It was weird. He was, like, half, he was mostly naked. I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> but I got to meet him. He was cool about it afterwards. He didn't, he didn't. I know, like, remember, afterward, even afterwards, he was all like, hey, you're the most alien that had your phone out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pull the blind card. I was like, hey, I couldn't see you, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, he's like, whatever, <laughs> I hear that all the time. <laughs> I had to pull that fast pass, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, you pulled the fast pass. <laughs> Dude, from now on, anytime in your whole life that you get away with something like that, it's called the fast pass. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't want to buy no privilege. <laughs> <laughs> so is there is there anything um, like, oh, man, what, what can I... Um, like interesting that we may not know already about like albinism or um for somebody out there that that has no idea what it is how would you explain it um well pe people people don't always know what what race i am i i don't people can't t like i guess because i look white or maybe i kind of sort of but i apparently i talk mexican i don't you can ask this dude, or not Mexican, but like there's like a certain speak when yeah, I get yeah. to talking. And I've been called out like by my friends when I start talking really fast. And then, you know, the 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 dialect comes out a little bit, you know. And I right. don't even I don't even speak Spanish, but I do have a slight Spanish accent in San Antonio, so everybody has a little bit of a tinge. Right, of bit. course. <laughs> so, and, and I and I've been asked. I've been I, I've been asked. Um uh, I had a, a manager I was working with and and uh and uh, she, she was a, she was a black woman, and I only knew she asked because I I, I believe and I had to ask her after she asked me because she's like she's like so what are you are you white are you black like what are you I was like I was like I'm 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 Hispanic you know yeah and and I, ha I so I had to ask her because I've heard this I didn't know for sure but it's like are, are there a lot of black people who have albinism and that is is I think a, a fact that a lot of people don't don't realize that there's a lot of it's it's real, real there's a lot of that in the African-American community. Like there's a lot of, or a Africans in general, you, uh, I've seen documentaries, people in Africa, they they have little brown spots all over their faces, melanoma, because they don't have any protection over there. Right, okay. And yeah. like, and like th there's like a whole thing where like witch doctors will like, they'll sacrifice them for like, th there's, there's shit like that's still happening. Oh you know, my God. Like, they, they think they, yeah, they, they think that people with albinism have like, demons or something like that but it's, it's, well, it's yeah that's, they, they say uh you know they say that they don't they have no soul <laughs> yeah <laughs> doesn't yeah. make and any so, sense like so, what <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah that's, so apparently it's real predominant with um with with like with, with darker people as well you know i want to uh, jumping on that um so you said earlier how like well i said how when since you told me about albinism and i didn't know that now that i say albino i feel like yeah like it's a racial slur so do you feel that way do you feel like i mean i know you know you don't expect i guess people if they don't have it or they don't study it they don't know that it's proper term is albinism yeah. so well, do you feel yeah, like I mean, well, educating them when they say that or no i i not really i mean i i think i don't know if albino is like a, you know like as using it as a noun i, I don't think that's I don't know. I've never took offense to it. You know, it, you can always tell the, by the way somebody says something. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can't, so, so I can't say I've ever heard that word used in like in like you know a, a really derogatory way. Right. I've, I, it, it'll be awkward when I'll see it made fun of on a movie or a show. You know what I mean? But yeah. I think that happens to everybody. Like when, when you know everybody laughs at the joke about everybody else, and then when the joke is happens to be about you. You're gonna feel a little weird. You're gonna feel a little different. Like that's yeah, how it that. works. Yeah. So, so I've always, I've always been open to that. I've always been, you know, where, like, a, a word only has the the power you give it, and it only has the intention you give it. You know. So if somebody says something, I'm not gonna 
be upset, you know, just because they used a certain, just because they used it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like if somebody calls me milky or whitey, I, yeah, like that's just straight up, you know, but like I've heard that plenty of times too. But then, yeah. and I don't, that's usually when people are trying to be a dick, you know, that's. Of course. Yeah. You can always tell. There's, there's always this stink, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So the, uh, the, the ramen noodles that we sent you. Since is, <laughs> you got that care package, virtual, right? <laughs> dude, I always have the Stouffer's microwave ones in my fridge. I always have it stocked, and this time I didn't. <laughs> this time I didn't, man. Dude, how, how did the ramen noodles taste during this interview? Dude, this was uh, what, the spi spicy chili. What flavor, flavor was it? It was Which spicy one? chili. It was spicy, oh, spicy chili. chili. Yeah. And I had spicy meatballs as well. So, dude. It, okay, it, it, okay. <laughs> so, you had half a spaghetti at my house. Yeah. Yeah, I could have put some spaghetti sauce. Yeah, that's something I didn't have. I mean, that would have been kind of weird. Spaghetti, spaghetti chicken flavor ramen. Ramen at my house. Yeah. <laughs> ramen at ramen my house. My, I'm not trying to change the show, man. I, I it's, a it's a spin off. It's a spin off. It's a spin off. No, it'll be. No, you know what? It'll be. Uh, it'll be like my... spaghetti at my house. Ramen at your house, where we interview it's... over the over the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> like my, my whack rip off of your show. <laughs> oh man. So what is one or you know, what is a word of advice you would give to like younger kids that have albinism or you know are facing that and they're going to school and whatnot? What what kind of advice do you think you would give to them? It gets better. No. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Dude, I, I would say, yeah, don't, don't listen to freaking anybody, dude. Like, I mean, I guess I could go for everybody. Right. But yeah, like, like yeah. more so like, don't, don't doubt yourself. You know, you gotta, like I said, I, I had wished somebody had told me to, to like lean into it more. And I, I, I guess if that's the advice I'd give, probably give my younger self, holy shit. And yeah, I, I would give that same advice to another young albino. Okay. Who might be struggling out there. Yeah, man. It, it's, you know, like having any kind of difference can suck. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think so. And I think I've gained a lot of perspective with that, you know. If there was one thing you could tell the whole world right now, what would it be? Anything. Um, um, I'd say give a shit what anybody thinks about anything. And you got to, you got to we're all here together man we gotta we gotta stick together that's that's what i say man we, you keep the peace man keep the peace 